Since it launched in 2008, ITFCs has transformed the lives of millions of people across the world's developing economies. Working with partners, resources are directed towards the developing world's most important sectors such as agriculture and energy. ITFC's cumulative trade financial approval have so far reached $50 billion to $30 billion provided by ITFC partners from international, regional and local banks, financial institutions and funds. In 2019 alone, ITFC approved around $5.5 billion and $4.5 billion in disbursements. Multiple financing agreements were signed right across the world. These included financing packages of $1.13 billion in favor of Egypt, and $850 million for Pakistan and many more. Working to build reliable supplies of energy products and electricity generation is one of our most important goals alongside the supply of basic food products and it's how we know we can make a lasting impact. That impact is being felt across vast swaths of West Africa's cotton farming sector, the white gold that forms the livelihoods of millions of people, all the way to the coffee fields in Indonesia. 2019 was a year of global momentum. Investing for impact would not be possible, of course, without our strategic partners. 2019 was a successful year in building partnership banks and technical partners. Our goal? To improve access to finance for local SMEs through the provision of trade lines of finance, capacity buildings and advisory services. Lines of financing worth $1.1 billion were signed at the 44th ISDB annual meeting, covering multiple regions from CIS, MENA, South America and Sub-Sahara Africa. These target high growth industries including agricultural commodities, energy products such as crude oil, agricultural inputs, medical supplies, construction materials, metals and livestock. On home ground in Saudi Arabia in 2019, we are engaging with Saudi Export Development Authority to support the private sector through the implementation of the private sector stimulus plan of SAR 5 billion by the government. In addition, a brand new service agreement was signed to develop Islamic finance products for the newly established Saudi Exim Bank. We allocated $9 million for financial institutions operating in Christ Republic under the Murabaha financing and line of financing structures to support local SMEs and the wider private sector of the country. We also threw weight behind the Uzbekistan agricultural sector in 2019 with a provision of $50 million, specifically for production of cotton, in order to support the nation's contribution to textile garment global value chains. From CIS to Africa, we signed $1.5 billion framework agreement from the government of Senegal to boost the exports and SME sectors. Another agreement was signed with the Gambia for the amount of $55 million for financing agricultural and energy. For ITFC, it has been an incredible year of capacity building, business matching, value chain enriching progress that is making a real and lasting impact on the lives and livelihoods of millions of people across the globe. As Africa and SMEs are on the high priority, ITFC new strategy is focusing on leveraging the right partnership for development of trade in Africa and supports the SMEs to be contributing largely to this continent. For this reason, ITFC has been working very hard with many partners to design and deliver initiatives that is dealing actually with important commodities. And also we'll continue to apply our new business model where we are going to also offer integrated projects and trade solutions. The combination of direct support for the impact of critical supplies, international capacity, building programs, trade initiatives and SMEs focus lines of financing are bringing together so many of our partners, each of us with a shared desire to make a lasting difference, each absolutely committed to improving lives and raising living standards. Together, we are investing for impact.